Alex, tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versalife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Viktor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. Adam, you there? You're not gonna believe this, but Vladimir Orloff is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border Control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where is he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Yes. Oh, hey, Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to check on my progress. Really, I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So, well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like the bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. Stanic? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanik, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Thanks, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. Hey, Adam. I heard about Rucker. That's terrible, Adam. He was our standard bearer. What direction will the movement take now? I don't know. I spoke to Miller as he was leaving. He told me he was going to Gollum City to talk to the state police. Damn, I hope he has better luck than you and Smiley did. Because if you think that Prague is bad now, imagine what'll happen if reaction to Rucker's death gets violent. I'd rather not. Yeah, FUBAR is what'll happen. What a week. And meanwhile, I'm going crazy waiting for Dr. Ozen to get back to me with my test results. <sighs> How did it go with Dr. Ozen? She ran some tests? I swear to God, Adam. These tests they give me are more stressful than being in the field. When I'm out there, I have immediate feedback every second. And when you're doing these tests, they just stare at you and take notes. I don't like it. Nobody does. When do you get the results? Dr. Ozen didn't say. I don't know, hopefully in a day or two. Try and stay positive. Always. So what do you think of our new doctor? What do you mean? I just wonder what she's really doing here. Things are heating up here in Prague. We can use all the help we can get. I'd be worried if Interpol didn't send a psychologist. Besides, I spoke to her for an hour. I like her. It just seems suspicious to me, that's all. We've never needed a psychologist before. Who's she watching? Come on, Adam. You keep talking like that, and Chang's gonna change all the locks again. There are 87 agents in Prague, and I just finished handing out the new keycards. I should get going. Okay.
Talk to you later. Clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you. Initiated. Access granted. 
Smiley, Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that.
Hey, I am a citizen. I have rights. You cannot detain me without charging me. This I know. And I know you're going to sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Y you have the wrong man! Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You are right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites, and, and now, now, they have taken her. You must help. She is not to blame for this. She has been coerced. Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear! Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he... I guess friendship means nothing to a duck. What happened? I was never a wealthy man. But my shop is well known and respected. Reddish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison. So we strike a deal. Deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb's what? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the ascension, whatever that is. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will!
Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex-military, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him. See what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Thank <laughs> you.